For better crop yields, Kuhn shows you how to best adapt your tractor and plough. Obtaining good yields is the top consideration for all farmers. Success starts with good ploughing. Preparation of the tractor should always be done in this order. Distance between tyres, tyre pressures, length of the tractor lower links, freely movable stabilisers. The correct inter-tyre distance is essential for the tractor and plough to work together. This is measured inside the two wheels from tyre wall to tyre wall at the widest point of the tyre tread. The front wheel should run in line with the centre of each rear wheel. During ploughing, each tyre must be set at the same pressure which is determined by the actual weight carried on the tyres during work. To do this, please refer to the manufacturer's recommended load and pressure table. Several hitch positions are possible. The best lift linkage output is obtained in the rear position. Check that the lower links cannot rotate. When using a reversible plough, adjust the lower links so that both are at the same length. This should be measured from the top pin of the height adjustment arm to the cross shaft axis. Choosing the hitch position. The hitch up position on the plough is chosen according to the geometry of the tractor's three-point linkage. The user should adjust the pickup position on the plough accordingly. This diagram shows the convergence point of the three-point linkage of a four-wheel drive tractor for maximum tractive efficiency. It is located at the front wheel axle. On the other hand, for a two-wheel drive, it is located at the tractor's centre of gravity. The result is minimum tractive effort and good hold. To reduce the lifting effort, position the top link in the highest hole of the upper hitch. Hitching can be made easier by using the quick hitch cross shaft. A choice of top link positions allows the best weight transfer to be found and to reduce lifting effort. In normal and hilly conditions, we recommend hitching the machine in the oblong hole and in difficult conditions, in the round hole. To prevent the tractor from nosing up, Make sure sufficient weight is fitted to the front of the tractor for a perfect hold. Preparing the plough's non-stop hydraulic safety. Bodies are pressurised according to the selected release level in order to prevent drumming. Remove the pins.
The total reduction of body pressure makes the large clearance over the obstacle visible. Traction bolt security ensures that all bodies are always in line with one another. When changing the traction bolt, don't forget to fit the nut and the counter nut in order for the safety system to break when forces are in excess of 3,000 kilograms. To preset the skimmers, set the distance between the mold board point and the skimmer to that of the working depth. For road transport, make sure the transport wheel is used. The mechanical lock ensures road safety. Don't forget to remove the top link. lock the stabilizers and fit the lighting board. The transport wheel suspension offers increased driver comfort and reduced loads on the tractor and plow. Before ploughing in, loosen stabilisers. In difficult conditions, the body angle can be adjusted to improve soil penetration. Select draft control or mix position. These controls determine the ploughing depth. The adjustment of the plough is always carried out in the following order. Depth, side to side levelling, front to rear level, first body width. After having ploughed to find the perfect position in the furrow for the tractor, you can now begin to adjust the plough. Depth. The depth control wheel allows a constant depth to be maintained over the whole plough length. Easy adjustment without the need for a spanner is carried out using the fitted turn screw. Side to side levelling. The side to side levelling is carried out without the need of a spanner by means of screw handles. The plough bodies are set perpendicular to the ground. The opposite screw can be adjusted symmetrically according to the work. Here we can see the plough is tilted over onto its back. Notice the small volume of soil being worked by the first body. Here, on the other hand, the plough is tilted over onto its front, giving a noticeable mark on the first furrow and causing poor plough stability. Once the adjuster screws have been adjusted, the plough should be vertical in comparison to the soil. Here, the top link is too long, and here, too short. The front to rear levelling is set by adjusting the length of the top link. Once set correctly, plough stability and quality of work are maximised. First body width. 
when noticing a mark on the first furrow which can cause tractor and plough to crab. Watch the movement of the first furrow as it is adjusted to the required width. In each offsetting position, the ideal plough angle is automatically selected thanks to the combined offsetting angling system. Adjust the width of the first furrow using the mechanical or hydraulic combined offsetting angling adjuster. Once correctly adjusted, tractor and plough work together as one constraint-free combination. On the Master 182 series, the front axle is fitted with the OptiDrive hydraulic suspension that absorbs jolts on headlands and facilitates setting the machine in transport position. A good regular ploughing finish is the result of correctly applied adjustments. The variable width system allows adaptation to all soil and ploughing conditions. All moving parts are integrated into the beam for added protection and increased service life. Features that all go towards improving the eventual crop yield. The fuel consumption gauge proves how by simply turning the wheel, fuel consumption increases by 2 litres. Don't let your fuel go up in smoke. Use the four-wheel drive to improve traction and lock in the differential in the event of excessive wheel slip. The skimmer plays an important role in ploughing quality. These adjustments in three dimensions, up and down, forwards and backwards and side to side, give an excellent trash burial. A full range of skimmers and bodies are available to adapt to all soil conditions and to the various tyre widths. Attention given to tractor equipment, its adaptation to the plough and the correct adjustment of the plough itself all make for greater economies in crop production costs. A significant reduction in wear of working parts will be obtained as well as a reduction in fuel costs and tyre wear. Bear in mind that good ploughing is the first important step in ensuring better crop yields.